In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a website just like this using Bluehost. But Bluehost is a cheap web hosting provider that doesn't offer much in terms of automatic performance optimizations. So usually a website that looks like this loads like this. <laughs> Yeah, not great. However, do not worry, I'll also show you how to use the free tools and some knowledge to make this exact website load around a uh, billion times faster, so this is the only Bluehost WordPress tutorial you'll ever need. No shocker there, the first thing that you'll actually need is a Bluehost plan. If you already have a Bluehost plan, you can skip to this part in the video and save yourself some time. But if you don't have a Bluehost plan yet, let me show you how to get one with a significant discount. Click the link in the description below. This will take you to a special Bluehost page dedicated to the viewers of my channel. And it will apply a discount automatically, so the plan is already cheaper. Then click on Get Started and choose a plan. I personally recommend choosing between the Basic or the Pro plan, as the Choice and the Choice Plus just don't add enough value. If you want to have one simple website, go with Basic. If you want to have a business website, go for Pro. Really simple. Next up, select the hosting period up top here. The longer the period, the lower the monthly cost. And here you get to register your website name for free. So just type in the website name that you want and claim it as your own. By the way, once you're on this screen, try to move your mouse as if you're about to click off. You'll get a pop-up with some extra savings. Click on claim savings, now fill out all of the required information. And of course, you can deselect all of the package extras, check both of these boxes at the bottom, and finally, click on Submit. Okay, so once you're in, your dashboard will generally look something like this. And the question is now, how do we go from this to an actual designed website that's loading fast? Well, I'm like super glad that you asked because that's exactly what I'm going to show you next. Once inside your dashboard, click on My Sites and then add a site. Here, you'll have the choice of using a custom theme or the Bluehost website builder. In this tutorial, I'll go for a custom theme. I'll do a separate video on the Bluehost builder later. For the next step, choose the website name that you're installing the website on. I'll go for tech2stream.com. Leave the directory empty and I suggest you unselect all of these add-ons, because they'll just slow your website down and you can always add them in later. And now, through the magic of not that complicated auto-installers, Bluehost will actually create all of the necessary databases and folders for them to put your website files on. In this time, there's basically nothing for you to do except wait. And of course, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more tutorials just like this. Help a brother out. Okay, so once that's done, let's get some essential settings out of the way so we don't hurt our website later down the development process. Click on Go Back to My Sites and next to your website, click on Manage Site. In the Performance tab, click on Get Basic and then Install next to Cloudflare. This will basically put a copy of your website on multiple servers across the globe and improve international loading speed. Since the installation is automatic, we can work on other things while it's doing its thing. Next up, we want to go ahead and deactivate the coming soon page. Awesome. The essential settings are now all set up. We can start working on our website from the inside of the WordPress dashboard. So click on login to WordPress here at the top. First things first, let's clear out some clutter that got installed automatically. Click on Plugins and then deactivate and delete the Jetpack plugin. Now at the very top, hover over Caching and Cache Settings. Make sure that Endurance Cache is set to level 0 or off. 
click on save settings and then in the sidebar go to permalinks and make sure to select post name then finally click on save changes again so the default caching solution offered by bluehost is kind of garbage that's why we deleted it together with jetpack i'll show you how to install a better caching solution in these upcoming steps and for that to work we also needed to change the permalinks one advantage of changing the permalinks is that your website structure will now look more professional as well. Since the current website looks like this, let's add a better design, shall we? Once inside your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance and then Themes. Click on Add New Theme and then in the search bar type in Astra. Click install and wait a bit for the installation to finish, then click on the activate button. You should immediately see a get started button on a banner at the top. Click on it and choose Elementor as your website builder. Then at the very top sort the themes by free and choose ones that you like. I'll go with the one I've shown you earlier. Click on the one you've chosen and then at the bottom click on import complete site. Then just answer the two questions and on the next screen click on skip at the bottom. Now just wait a couple of minutes for the theme to finish installing. Now if you would click on view site, your website design should be immediately updated. If you want to change specific aspects of this, go ahead and click on edit with Elementor. Here you'll able to make changes. I have a detailed tutorial on how to use Elementor that I'll leave at the top right now. So at the moment we have a website that looks great, but if I would go to GT Metrics and run a speed test, it loads horribly. It's so slow. And that's because we haven't actually done any optimizations on it yet. And this is where a lot of hate for Bluehost comes from. People do not understand that Bluehost do not do any optimizations automatically like SiteGround. So when you host a website with them, you need to do all of the optimizations yourself or you're gonna have a bad time. Once inside your WordPress dashboard, go ahead and click on plugin, then add new. Type in W3 cache in the search bar and install, then activate it. Now, you'll see this new item appear on the sidebar called Performance. Click on it, you'll see an automatic setup screen. Sadly, it just never works, at least for me, so I'm just going to click on Skip and do it manually. Click General Settings at the side here, then click Enable next to Page Cache. For the method, choose Disk Enhance and then click Save All Settings. Now scroll down and enable database cache, then object cache, then browser cache, and finally lazy load at the very bottom. Then click on save all settings. And now if I would go ahead and do the same GT metrics test, you would see that the performance is infinitely better with just these really quick small changes. I'll leave two more videos at the end of this one where I show you how to do further optimizations and secure your website completely free of charge, but for now, enjoy your cheap and fast website using Bluehost. My name is Emmet, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm out. All I hear go get the money, so I go get it. Hate means I do something right, so I'ma let him. Yeah, I'ma let him, yeah, 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 I'ma let him. I hit the nail on the head, yeah, yeah, I'ma let him. All I hear go get the money, so I go get it. Hate means I do something right.